Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the continued study uh, and practice of A Course in Miracles and the workbook. Today, we are on lesson number seven. So let's just take a deep breath, close our eyes for a second, and get ourselves centered into this moment, this moment of right now. And here is lesson number seven, which is, I see only the past. This idea is partific particularly difficult to believe at first, yet it is the rationale for all of the preceding ones. It is the reason why nothing you see means anything. It is the reason why you have given everything you see all the meaning that it has for you. It is the reason why you do not understand anything that you see. It is the reason why your thoughts do not mean anything and why they are like the things you see. It is the reason why you are never upset for the reason you think. It is the reason why you are upset because you see something that is not there. Old ideas about time are very difficult to change because everything you believe is rooted in time and depends on your not learning these new ideas about it. Yet it is precisely why you need new ideas about time. This first time idea is not really so strange as it may sound at first. For example, look at a cup. Do you see a cup or are you merely reviewing your past experiences of picking up a cup, being thirsty, drinking from a cup, feeling the rim of a cup against your lips, having breakfast and so on? Are not your aesthetic reactions to the cup to based on past experiences? How else would you know whether or not this kind of cup will break if you drop it? What do you know about this cup except what you learned in the past? You have no idea what this cup is except from your past learning. Do you then really see it? Look about you. This is equally true of whatever you look at. Acknowledging this by applying the idea for today indiscriminately to whatever catches your eye. For example, I see only this pencil. I see only this shoe. I see only this hand. I see only the past in that body. I see only the past in that face. Now do not linger over any one thing in particular, but remember to omit nothing specifically. Glance briefly at each subject and then move on to the next. Three or four practice periods, each to which, three or four practice periods, each to which, two last, I should say, a minute or so will be enough. So in this lesson, it mentions time. And we believe that um, everything 
is rooted in time. We're constantly coming from past experiences, past understanding, you know, past um, knowledge, experiences in terms of education, again, in terms of our family, in terms of, again, uh, what beliefs we've taken on. And with that, we're never present to the present moment, the now moment constantly, as I said, living from the past. We keep bringing the past into the present moment, which does create a future of the past. So when I was reviewing this today, what came to my mind, which I've done some work around this, is that as a child, I, um, you know, came from what I'll call a functional dysfunctional home. And um, oftentimes there was conflict and arguing in the home. And as a child, as a little child, I felt it was my responsibility that when this occurred, that to go close all the windows and make sure that, never, that the neighbors never heard the arguing, we have to look good. We have to look perfect. Don't want to let anybody know there's upset here in this family. So, you know, I felt responsible. There was, you know, some sense of order that I was creating, that I felt I was creating. And also, as a child, I felt that, you know, I had to make, make sure everything was in order all the time that you know that i didn't cause any conflict that i because if i did or if i caused anything you know i might cause upset i might cause some further conflict and you know i saw in this work how i kept bringing that to the present moment and everything i was doing everything had to be perfect everything had to be in alignment i didn't want to cause any upset any conflict and with that it was always Driving for perfection. Taking myself out of the present moment of whatever may be occurring in that present moment of experiencing it at a deeper level of, of satisfaction and joy and fulfillment. So, you know, that's just the kind of thing, you know, now if that comes up for me and you'll continue as you, as you continue, I should say the Course of Miracles, you're going to learn how to turn this over to the Holy Spirit. You know, A Course in Miracles says that a miracle is merely a shift in perception. And this again is all a mind training. So that may kick in for me. I've worked on it for a long time to stay more and more in the present moment. And if I'm not, and I recognize it, that is to recognize that I'm aware of it in the moment, it gives me my opportunity to turn it over to the Holy Spirit. To turn it over to the Holy Spirit so I don't continue to experience the past in the present moment and keep creating a future of the past. When I release it to the Holy Spirit, totally release it to the Holy Spirit, there's actually nothing for me to do except to be present in this moment to get, when I release it, to get back into a, a sense of peace in the moment and then to allow myself to listen for, observe how the Holy Spirit is directing me. What other new ideas, what other creations, what other possibilities are present for me that I didn't see before? There are infinite possibilities, but when we are stuck in what we only know from the past, that is all we know is the past. We can't see anything else possible. So just one more thing in relation to that. When we look at the exercise or the, the lesson here, when it speaks about a cup and how we experience a cup. So let's say that you or I never experienced a cup and we're seeing it for the first time. We're going to pick it up. 
we're going to feel it. We're going to touch it. We're going to wonder how, you know, what it is. We're going to be looking at it in a whole new frame when we have never seen it before. But when we pick up a cup now, it's all from our past experiences of how, in fact, you know, we have seen a cup. So again, I, I hope all of this gives you some sense of how much we actually, again, are living from our past, all the, that our thoughts are past based and keeping us from the presence of, of this moment and from the presence of God and the presence of love. So that's it for lesson seven, what I have to say as, a, as I feel spirit has moved me to, to speak um, to with regards to this lesson. So go forward today and, and follow the lesson as it instructs and um, see how much as you're looking at whatever in your life, you're only seeing it from your past. Again, keep up the good work, stay with it. And I wanna ask again, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, if you wish to comment and also hit the like button, all those things um, help to get this, um, video out to others and my intention is that, that uh, I get this Course in Miracles out to those who are looking for it. I know there's many that are doing this type of work on the um, on the YouTube concerning what is there eight, 8 billion people in the world or is it 8 million? Oh, whatever, it's a large number. So um, I'm building a uh, Course in Miracles community here um, and allowing spirit to direct me day by day over the next year. So again, please uh, like and subscribe. Wishing you many miracles today. See you next uh, with lesson eight.